Welcome to Further Solutions Academy. Uh, in, this is Further Solutions Academy. Academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share our video and also subscribe to our channel. If you have not subscribed before and you uh, want to give, make sure you subscribe before you leave. And if you have subscribed, able to share to your friend and uh, also drop your comments. Um, in this video, I'll be walking you through a straight line. In this channel, we have over 140 uh, videos that you can work with. We have few of mathematics, I mean, few of physics, chemistry, and very much of uh, mathematics. You can learn, and uh, any topic you have difficulty with, you can come here and learn. I will be having, I will be working on a straight line in this video. Before we talk about straight line, we have, much, we have mentioned what is called a midpoint, how a line can be formed, what is a point, a coordinate, and also I've explained the, 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 the gradient of a line, which is, a, uh, we have done all those things. But in this video, in this video I'll be working on straight line. These are the outline of this video. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand this. You should be able to understand this. The first one, equation of a straight line. The second one, uh, equation of a straight line through x and y with n. And also, equation of a straight line passing through two points, parallel lines, and uh, equation of parallel lines, equation of perpendicular lines. By the end of this video, all this you must understand it. If you do not, try to drop your email or I mean comment on any of our video and uh, we are going to attend to it. Okay, let's start. This class is very, very important. You must understand the importance of gradient. It's very important because gradient is what we are resting on as far as this video is concerned. Now, I've explained gradient for us yesterday. That uh, I mean, in a previous video that we are talking about uh, M, M, which I have my M is always equals to Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1, which is we call it a uh, change in Y, change in X. And this video, as this video is concerned, before this one can be can come up, we must you must add a straight a line, a straight line. Now, this gradient is the same thing as what? Uh, my gradient is the same thing as we are talking about slope. Now, or we call it steep. How steep the line is? If the line is very, very, is like this, is like this, or is very gentle. Now, the whole line, now this is telling us how the nature of the line, how it looks like. And if it's too steep, it will be a negative stick, and so on and so forth. Now, that is all what I'm work on, working on as far as this video is concerned. And I've um, the question, okay, y equals to ms plus c. This is general equation, general equation of a straight, of a straight, Of a straight line. This is the general equation of a straight line. Note that y equals to ms plus c, general equation of a straight line. Which let me define those things. X and y are coordinates. Coordinate. I've explained that yesterday that coordinate is interaction between x and y, where they meet on a partition long point is known as a, a uh, coordinate. Now, my C is also called intercept. Intercept at at Y. And my M, that is here, we call it gradient, which is gradient. Or you call it slope. Gradient or slope. That is all this equation is talking about. Now, anytime you have to find any form of any, uh, you have to find any uh, of this in from from any linear equation, this are this sorry, this is linear equation. Uh, that is 
in your equation, then you have to find anything here. You must plan to present this one. For instance, if I have 3x plus 4 minus 4y minus 5 equals to 0, what is your gradient? Gradient. What is your gradient? And gradient means just M and your C. I don't need to stress myself with what I'm having here. What I'm having here is a linear equation. Thank God it's a linear equation. I must then to present this way that my y equals to other side. It means I'll be having 4y equals to 5 minus 3x. Now y equals to minus 5 all over 4 plus 3 all over 4x. Now by having this, I think I've done what I need to do, which is my y can be equals to 3 all over 4x minus what? 5 all over 4. Now by having this, it means this and this are related now. It means my m is equals to uh, 3 all over 4. That is what I'm looking for. Now, my intercept of C is equals to minus 5 all over 4. That is all what I need. That is all what I need. Now, let me quickly check our uh, past question to see what is going on there. Let's see what is going on in past question. That is my M. Okay. Let me look for a question from her past question, which is, um, okay, there is a question here. Okay. There is a question here. Okay. Now, a straight line. Makes an angle, angle, not angles, angle. Of 30 width degree. This is 30 degree width positive axis and cut the y axis at y equals to five. Find the equation of the straight line. Now, this is what I have here. Now, this question is a very simple one that you must learn to interpret. If you cannot interpret very well, you may run to problem as far as this question is concerned. Now, this one is not in terms of uh, uh, y equals to no, but what you just need, we call that general equation of solution to this problem. Your equation you are looking for, it must be in this form. Y equals to ms plus c. That is what you must know. That's what so your solution must look like this. If your question solution does not look like this, it means you have done something. This is a y, this is a hex. Now, a number attached to it, which is called gradient. And this number is standing on its own, which is telling us that x raised to power 0. x raised to power 0 is always equals to 1, except 0 itself. Now, since I have this, I will draw my Cartesian plane. It's very, very important. Now, the origin of this thing is from Cartesian plane. Now, x and y. x has it and y has it. Now, a straight line makes an angle of 30 with a positive it means this is the positive of what? Angle 30. Now, this is my angle 30. Okay. Okay. And cut the y as it's at. Y equals to 5. It means it's cut off here where my y equals to 5. Y equals to 5. Find the equation of a straight line. Find the equation of a straight line. It means I've done it. This is all solved. Now, how do I go? I will move on by looking out for this is a right angle triangle, which I have no problem with. I can quickly run to my what? What is my gradient? My gradient is talking about what? Y2 minus Y1, S2 minus X1. 
That is my dividend. It means what can carry out this thing with f of so cat what? I'll be talking about tan 30. My tan 30 is always equals to 1 all over root of what? Uh, 3. We have done that in our degrementary ratio. Now, 1 over 3. Since I have this, I cannot move on by having, okay, my y intercept my c equals to 5. My c equals c because c is talking about intercept at y. It means I will now move on by having my y equals to uh, m x plus c, which is I call this thing now. Now, I can now substitute. It means this is my m. It's my gradient. This is my gradient. My y equals to, um, hey, this is going to be, uh, okay. This is going to be, uh, it's a negative, this is a negative graph. This is a negative graph. It will be minus. There will be a minus here. Because this line is a slant one. We have two types of line. We have positive line. We have, I mean, we have positive line. We have negative line. This is a negative line. It means the gradient is minus. The gradient will be minus. I'll be having minus 1 all over root of 3 plus x plus 5. That is my question. That is what I'm looking for. Okay. I can now move on by having well, y root of 3 minus x equals to minus x plus 5 root of 10. Now, I can now move on by having, um, okay, if I want to do it very well, I can see that y root of plus x equals to 5 root of 3. That is what I'm looking for. That is my answer. Now, let me move, let me give more example on this part. Another example. Don't forget there are two types of line when we talk about our gradient. We have positive and negative. Okay. Now, I have another question here. Look at this question. What is the y intercept and the gradient of the line whose equation is x all over 5 plus y all over 3 equals to 1 all over 3. Now, look at this one. It's a very good one. This one, normally, I don't have much problem with it. But it's not in this form. Now, solution. I have y all over. I have x plus y all over 3 equals to 1 all over 3. Now, this is the question I have. Don't forget that I must learn to make it y equals to mx plus c. It must be like this. Before we talk about gradient and intercept at y. Now, this is just an equation that anybody can give. But it's a linear equation. Now, what I will need to do, I will need, every sum of this one is 15. Okay, multiply all by 15. Now, multiply more. Multiply all by 15. Now it means I'll be having uh, 15, I'll be having 3x plus 5y equals to, when you multiply that by 15, equals to 5. Now I've multiplied everything by 15, which is, uh, you should know, 5 times 15 times this, 15 times this, 15 times this. Now since I have this, I must let my y we stand on in zone. It means 5y equals to minus 3x plus 5. Now, since I have that, divide all through by what? By 5. It means my y equals to minus 3 all over. Okay. As for those that are still learning. Now, divided by 5. Now, since I have this, I cannot move on by having my y equals to minus 3 all over 5s plus 5. 5 all over 5, which is my y equals to minus 3 all over 5, x plus 1. That is what I need. 
which is now in this form. It means my m equals to minus 3 all of 5. My c equals to 1. That is all what I need. That is all what I need. Now, let me move on to the next uh, outline. Okay, the next outline, we are talking about um, um, equation of um, at a point. Equation of a straight line at a point. Now, it means what I will mean here is that uh, when it's at the point, I'll be talking about something like this. It will be y minus y1 equals to m bracket of what? Uh, x minus x1. That is, or you do it this way, my m equals to y minus y1 all over x minus x1. That is what we mean by what? Something is at a point. Now, what is at the point? We'll be having something like this. Now, example, in any exam, find the equation of a straight line of gradient through gradient two through the point one comma four. Now, this is what I mean now. It means I have only one point and I have my gradient. And I've told you earlier that uh, my gradient, my gradient, which is my m equals to y minus y1 all over x minus x1, which is about that. It means this particular one, one comma four, it means my x equals to 1, my y equals to 4, is the point we are referring to, which is one point given to us. This is not a two point. Since I have this, um, I cannot move on by having, what is my hem? My hem is already given, which is going to be 2. My hem is 2. Now, it means I can say that my 2 equals to y minus 4, divided by x minus 1. Now, I can ask 2 bracket of x minus 1 equals to 4, 1. Now, it means I'll be having 2x minus 2 equals to 4 minus 4. Now, I can answer that my y equals to uh, <clears throat> 2x plus 2. 2x plus 2, yes. It means this is coming this way and that. Uh, and now move on by having uh, a, a, anyhow you want it, I can leave it like this, which is what you are looking for. Uh, find the equation of a straight line. This is the equation we are referring to. And you can also move it y equals to y minus 2x plus, I mean, equals to 2. Anyhow you want it. Anyhow you want it. Now, from here now, we all know that what? My m equals to 2. My c equals to 2. That is all what we, I mean, it means m and n are the same. m and n are the same. Okay. We have something like this. By this, I think we have no problem. Um, let me move on to the next one. Okay, before I move on, let me have one more example to it. This from any of our questions. Uh, only have a question. Okay, I have this question. Okay, let me move on to the next one. Passing through point, two points. Equation of a line passing through two points. Now, this time around, we're talking about two points. Now, this two points is related to our gradient. 
My gradient is always equal to one. I am y2 minus y1 all over what? x2 minus x1. Now, that's my gradient. And before now, I've expressed my gradient. This by hand can be written as y minus y1 all over x minus x1 equals to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Now, that is all what I mean. By having this, I will have a simple equation. Now, for instance, for instance, if I have this type of problem here, um, okay, 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 I have a equation this form, I have this question, I have a Cartesian plane, now, this is a point, which we are talking about what, is 0, 0,4, this is another point, this one is talking about 3, comma, 0, now, and I um, have to find out uh, this is this point is called is zero comma is zero. We call it origin point. Now, yes, I want to do something on this particular form. Now, I want to find the find the equation of the line. Find the equation. Find the equation. Equation. Now, I want to find the equation here. Equation of this particular line. I've showed you what can come up here, which is the point here, a point here, and a point here. This is just like on the Cartesian plane, which is origin point. Now, I want to find this equation of this line. How can I find it? I must learn, I must use this equation that is here. It means I'll be having, uh, okay, now, don't forget that my m, my y minus y1, all over x minus x1 equals to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. It means at this point is 0, 0,4 and 3,0. Now, it means my x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, since I have this, I have this. Okay. Now, I have what I have, what I need to have here. This is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. Since I have this, I cannot continue by having, okay, I have my y minus, what is my y1? 4 divided by my x minus x1 is 0 equals to um, x2. We have y2, 0 minus 4 divided by and this also will give me um okay uh, okay i'm having three minus zero now four minus all over x equals to minus four all over three now that is what i'm having here now i'm talking about equation what can i do i will have four minus this bracket of three equals to minus four x now i cannot say i was three y minus 12 equals to minus 4x now since i have this this is the equation we are talking about i think i'm getting close to my answer if i want to do it very well i can look for my gradient okay let me quickly show you the form of gradient it means i'll be having uh okay now 3y equals to minus 4x plus 12. now divide both all by 3 it means once I divide all by 3, by 3, by 3, this will cancel my y equals to minus 4 all over 3, x plus 4. Now, what I'm trying to do, it means my m is what? Minus 4 all over what? 3. And my c intercept is what? Can you see how this question is look like? Can you see my intercept at what? Is there? Which is, I've defined my C at the beginning of our class that my C is intercept at Y. Can you see that? What is my Y? It's always 4. Now, which is my gradient, you can see a negative line. I've told you that we have two types of line. We have negative line, we have positive line. It depends on how it's being placed. Now, if I find the gradient of this one, I will surely have my positive. If I find the gradient of this one, I will surely have it in negative, which is, can you see, that is all about that. 
Now, to like, okay, let me put more effort on this part. Ah, okay, let me give more example on this. Now, I have a question here again, because these are very common in any exam. They are very, very common. These are very common in any exam. Okay, this is a question here. Uh, what is the equation of the line which marks intercepts of two and three on the x and y axis axis respectively now i have this question to solve and it's very very simple to solve now what i will just do is the first thing in intercept at x is 2 and then y is is 3 that is the most important thing ah uh, yes 2 intercept of x is 2 oh sorry then y will be what 0 and intercept there are 2 at y is 3 then 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 x is zero it means a point is generating that is what i mean there a point is generating now since i have it this way don't forget my formula that my y equals to i mean sorry y e minus y one all over s minus x one equals to um equals to y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 now that is what i want you to understand i've had my points here this will generate a point which you can know that it means we are talking about what uh sorry let me quickly interpret this one in the normal cartesian point i mean coordinate point uh form it means x um two comma zero and three comma zero that is what i mean there two comma zero now this one means x1 y1 x2 y2 please take note of that x1 y1 now i cannot move on by having what did i need it, it means y minus zero divided by x minus two equals to I will move on again here from S2. Now it means I'll be having zero minus zero minus uh, yes. I'll be having zero minus T V. Okay. Okay, sorry. Y is zero. What is three? Why is three now? What is three? We have zero comma three. Is that it's already there? Now it means I'll be having yes, okay. Now is zero, which is three minus is zero divided by here will be um what again here I'll be talking about um zero minus two. Zero minus two. Now I've successfully have my what my simple linear equation, which is I'll be having y all over s minus two equals to three all over. Okay, let me just put 3 all over minus 2. Now, I want to have it in form of equation. I'll be having 2y equals to minus 3 bracket of s minus 2. 2y equals to minus 3s plus 6. Now, since I have it this way, I cannot move it by having, uh, okay, y equals to minus 3 all over 2s minus 
6 all over 2. It means my y equals to minus 3 all over 2 x minus 6, which is minus 3. Now, it means my m equals to minus 3 all over 2, my c equals to minus 3. That is what I have for that. I think by this, you understand what line is talking about. Now, Okay, I want to give, um, let's quickly move on to uh, parallel line. Parallel line. Now, if lines are parallel, two lines are parallel, there must be a two lines. Once it's a two lines, that's where you will know it's parallel or it's perpendicular. But if it is only one line, you will know if it's parallel or perpendicular. But two lines, it must involve two things, which is two lines. Okay, if they are parallel, this is a parallel line. We all know in mathematics, in our coordinate geometry, that this line is parallel to this line. Now, this one has its own gradient. This one has its own gradient. Now, how do we know that the two lines are parallel? It means you will get by saying that what? M1 equals to M2. It can also be presented by what? M1 plus M, I mean, sorry, minus M2. To equal to zero. It's that you, the two lines, their gradients are equal to themselves, or the when you subtract the two gradients value together, you have a zero. It means you're not, you cannot drop to a conclusion that what the lines are parallel. It means the lines are what? Are what? The lines are parallel parallel to, to each other now it means the lines are parallel to each other now example don't forget this is a very powerful point on this class that is parallel line and the next one will be a particular after this we call it okay now okay how will I know? Let me generate some questions from those past examinations. Okay, find the equation of the line two five comma seven parallel to the line 7x equals to 2. Now, I want to solve this question. I want to know maybe to run through a, 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 a gradient at a one point, which you have done that. Now, solution to this question. I want to know maybe they are parallel or they are perpendicular. What I will just do from this place, let me first generate the equation, which I will be having 4 plus 5y equals to 12. Now, my y equals to minus 7x minus 12. Plus 12, rather. Now, my y will be equals to all over 5x and um, plus all over 5. Now, I have this. It means my m1 equals to what? Minus 7 all over 5. That's my m1. Now, we all know that what? With this, I cannot move on by having, okay, if I know that my M1 is equal to that, I cannot move on by saying that uh, my M1 equals to Y minus Y1 all over X minus X1. Since I know this, I've established this before, that this was X and Y, one, one. Now, this is the point I'm referring to. It means at at point which is that a point five comma seven it means my x one equals to five my y one equals to seven since i know that i cannot what is my m one my m is already minus minus seven all over five which is this 
if phones to who? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I have, what is my y1? y minus, what is my y1? I have 7 divided by x minus, what is my x1? 5. Now, the equation I'm looking for is already out. You can now simplify and do what you want to do. Minus 7, x minus 5 equals to 5 bracket of y minus 7. Now, it means minus 7 x plus 35 equals to 5 y minus 35. Now, is it minus? What is going on? Okay. Okay, minus 7 minus 35. Uh, okay, it will be this one will be minus, sorry. Minus, minus. Okay. Now, Okay, I will now move on by having minus 7x uh, minus 5y equals to minus 35 minus 35. Okay, it means surely I'll be having 70 minus 70. My minus 70, this and this, what can I do? I have minus bracket of 7s plus 5y. It means I'm just generating now minus both sides, I think. Multiply both sides by minus, you have your plus. It means 7x plus equals to 70. This is the equation I'm talking about. Now, okay, I, I, let me generate my M2. It means successfully, I can say that what? My 5y equals to uh, 70. Okay, let me just use it. Minus 7x plus 70. It means my y equals to minus 7 all over 5, x plus 7 all over 5. Now, without stressing myself, my m2 equals to minus 7 all over 5. My m2 equals to minus. Now, can you see that this m2, m1 equals to m2, which is what? Minus 7 all over 2, 5 equals to minus 7 all over 5. Now, it means they are parallel. They are parallel. If they are not equal, it means they are not parallel. They are not what? Parallel. Now, let me give more example on this part. This video will be a very much video, but sorry for that. It's beyond our time schedule here. Okay. That is that. If a two line are parallel, that is what we are talking about in parallel line. Okay, let me give more example on parallel. Find the the value of k if the line two x plus three y plus y equals to zero and three x plus k y plus 2 equals to 0 are uh, parallel. Now, these lines are parallel. This is a linear, this is a linear, and they are form of what? Both of them as a solution. This is very straightforward question. Let me please solve it. It means from here, 2x plus 3y plus y equals to 0. It means 3y equals to, don't forget your y, it must be in this form, mx plus c. That is the logic of what we are working towards. It means I will be having minus 2x minus y. Now, my y equals to minus 3 all over 2 all over 3x minus 1 all over 3. Now, it means my m1 equals to minus 2 all over 3, which is my m here. Now, since I have it, I will come here now. My 3x plus, plus 2 equals to 0. It means my ky equals to minus 3x minus 2. It means my y it will be equals to minus 3 all over k x minus 2 all over k. Now, it means my m2 my m2 equals to minus 3 all over k. Now, the condition lets us to know that the two lines are parallel. parallel. 
What's their parallel? M1 equals to M2. It means what is my M1? Now, my M2 is minus 3 all over K and equals to 2 all over K minus. Now, how do I generate my K? I'll be having minus 2K equals to minus 9. Of course, multiply, I've done the necessary things. It means my K equals to 2, which is going to be 9 all over 2. 9 all over 2, that is my K. Now, okay, I want to get my M2 now. What is my K? It means I'll say my M2 equals to minus 3 all over K. It means divided by, what is my K? 9 all over 2. Now, it means my M2 equals to minus 3 multiply by 2 all over 9. Here 1, here 3. It means my M2 equals to 2 minus all over 3. Now, I get it in M1 equals to M2, which is uh, minus 2 all over 3 equals to minus 2 all over 3, which they are parallel. They are parallel. If they are not equal, it means the lines are not parallel. It may be it's perpendicular. Now, this will now take us to step on one, which is called perpendicular line. It must involve two lines because we are relating two gradients. It must involve two lines because we are re relating two gradients. Now, if two lines are perpendicular to themselves, it means um, perpendicular, perpendicular. Now, line. It must involve two lines, like parallel. Now, before we can talk about two lines that are perpendicular, it means my M1, M2 must be equal to 1. Minus 1. Yes, it will be minus 1. Yes, minus 1. It will be equal to minus 1. It means my M1 will be equal to what? Minus 1 all over M2. That is the, uh, the relationship. Since you have something like this, and you have your answer, this and this are the same. If the conditions satisfy, it means the lines are perpendicular. For instance, look at this question here. Okay. Look at this question here. Find the value. Find the value. Oh, I don't want to find the value at the beginning of the question. Okay, let me quickly. This, this is the perpendicular lines. It means M1 and M2 are perpendicular to themselves. Let me look for this question. If intersect intersection of two straight lines is perpendicular, then I've, I think I've said it. Then M M equals to M1 to M1. Okay, example. Now, this is the what this is talking about. It means, okay, look at this question. Two perpendicular perpendicular lines PQ and QR intercept intercept at one comma minus one if the equation of p q is s minus two y plus four equals zero find the equation of QR. Find the equation of the QR. Now, this is a very simple equation. That is very simple. I've told you that M1 my M2 equals to minus 1, which is a solution to this problem. Now, I have this, my PQ, and uh, I'm looking for the equation on what? RQ. I mean, RQR. My, for my PQ, it means I need my gradient, which is my hem. That is very, very important. It means I'll be talking about x minus 2y 
plus y equals to zero. It means minus two y equals to minus x minus two. My y equals to uh, x all over two and uh, plus two. That is very, very important. It means my m1, my m1 equals to one all over two. That is the implication. Now, my m1 equals to one all over two. Since my m1 equals to one all over two, I will now continue by having, okay, what can I do to the next one? Mm, okay, what can I do to the next one? I will continue by having what's my m1, m2 equals to minus one. It means my m1 is already one over two, one all over two, m1 equals to minus one. It means my m2 equals to minus two. Yes, my m2 equals to minus two. Since I know that, okay, my m2 is equals to minus two. Now let's check, maybe the lines are perpendicular. M1, M2, can it be equals to minus one? Let's see. What is my minus, what is my M1? My M1 is equals to this. It means I'll be having uh, one all over two multiplied by minus two. Can it be equals to minus one? Let's this to cancel. Minus one equals to minus one. It means the lines are perpendicular. The lines are perpendicular. Now, one more example before close this chapter. One more example. That is final example for this video. Okay. If I have a problem this way, I have find the value of alpha if the line y minus alpha x plus 4 equals to 0 is perpendicular to the line y plus 1 all over minus 7 equals to 0. Now, I want to check these two lines are perpendicular. This is the line 1, this is line 2. The first one, I'm looking for something. Something is missing. This is what is missing. Now, and I've told you that perpendicular is always equals to my m1, m2 equals to minus 1, which is very, very important. Now, which is very, very important. Since I know that, since I know this, it means I can continue by having my, firstly, here is complete. I can say that what? y minus 1 all over 2 s equals to 0. I can't start from here because something is missing there, which is alpha. Alpha is missing. There is a number attached. It's, it, they call it algebra. It's an algebra process now. It's an algebraic process, which is something is missing. I must look for missing things, which is uh, I cannot move on by having y equals to um, 1 all over 4 s plus 7. Now, it means my m1 equals to 1 all over 4. My m1 equals to 1 all over 4. Now, my m2 also, I will come here, 2y minus alpha x plus 4 equals to 0. It means 2y equals to alpha x minus 4. y equals to alpha all over 2x minus 2. Please, I have to divide all through. It means my m2 equals to alpha all over 2. Since I have this, and the condition let us to know that my m1, m2 equals to minus 1. It means, what is my m, m1? 1 all over 4 multiplied by alpha all over 2, which is multiplication, equals to minus 1, which is 8 alpha all over 8 equals to minus 1. It means my alpha is equals to minus 8. That is what I have for alpha. Put your alpha at minus 8. Will you have the same thing? For instance, okay, my m2 now it will be equals to what is my we have uh, 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 wait, 8. We're having 8. We're having 8. Which is 8 
alpha all over t, which is alpha over 2, which implies 8 minus 8 all over 2, which is equal to minus 4. Now, you will see that when you have m1, m2, it will be equal to minus 1, which is I have minus 8 multiplied by 1 all over 4, it will be equal to minus 8 multiplied by 1, 1 over 4, which is um, it will be r. Uh, Okay, that is all about that, 4, 8, and that is 4, M1, M2. If the, the condition is perfect, it means, oh, M2 is 1 over 2, okay, 8, which is going to be 4. This one will be 4. This one will be 4, sorry. This is 2, this is 4, yes, 4. Now, this is going to be 4. It means I'm having 8 minus 8 all over 2, which is going to be 4. Now, since I have 4, now, this one is 4. It means when I have it 4 like this, it will be equal to minus 1, which is minus 1. It will be equal to minus 1. That is perpendicular. Okay, that is all what I have for you as far as uh, lines are concerned. Equation of the line, perpendicular line, straight line. When you, give, when you are given one point, two points are given, parallel lines, perpendicular lines. Um, that is all, all I have for you. If you have any problem after view this video, you can drop your comment. It will surely be attended to. Once again, further solutions academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share this video when you feel it, when you watch the video, and also subscribe to our channel. Help us to subscribe to our channel. If you have any difficulty, drop your comments and uh, just help us to subscribe. And if you have any problem also, you are free free to drop your comments. We will surely be attentive to whether you film the production of the video or any of any part of the video. Thank you so much.